Jagex recently updated the Revenant Caves so the drop tables would be better and now the Rev Caves are revived. This has sprung a lot of activity for PKers and PVMers because now the caves are loaded with potential profit for both types of player. I've seen a lot of people making videos on how much money they've made from killing Revenants, but how about killing the people that are killing the Revenants? I decided to spend one week focusing only the best PVMers in the caves. The ones with high risk, the ones who are scold, and the ones who are either in skill total worlds or killing the higher level Revenants. What I ended up with after that week was way more than I expected, and I'm here to show you guys that today. But before we get into it, I'm going to take a quick second to let you guys know that we will be doing another Dragon Claw giveaway on this video. So if you like my content, please leave a like, comment down below with your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel for a chance to win. Now then, let's begin. Like I said, I'm going to be focusing mainly in the skill total worlds and only people that are in good risk. So anyone using an adverse amulet is an automatic suspect. I came across this guy here who was scolded up. Obviously, he was using a crossbow and, of course, an amulet of avarice. In a 2200 skill total world, that's the type of guy we're hunting for. <laughs> Okay, well, this guy made a massive mistake. For some reason, he didn't protect his crossbow. He still had prayer. I mean, you could literally see that he had protect from Elyon, but he obviously just messed up and didn't protect item. We got over 20 mil loot from this guy, and there's so many other items that we're going to be smiting throughout this video. I promise you guys, this is just the beginning, and by the end of this video, you're all going to want to come PKing down here at Revs. Before I go any further into the video, I just need to take a quick minute to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Opera GX. Opera GX is a browser made and specialized for gaming. Opera GX will help to enhance performance on your PC to get rid of all the lag while you're gaming or listening to music. The GX control panel will allow users to limit the amount of CPU or RAM that their browser can use to ensure that it doesn't interfere with anything that they're doing or slow down your PC. Another cool feature of Opera GX is the network limiter. You can limit the network bandwidth on your browser to gain performance while gaming or streaming. Just look at the difference between bandwidth in Opera GX and Google Chrome up here in my task manager. Opera GX's customization was inspired by neon lights and how they break the darkness in the nighttime. As gamers, let's be honest, we all have to stay up late and grind, and we also love our creativity to design. That's why Opera GX is the perfect browser for a gamer. You can select tons of different themes, wallpapers, and truly make your browser tailored to your liking. And if that's not enough, there's even the GX Corner, where you can stay up to date with free games, the best deals, new releases, and even a release calendar, and all gaming news in one accessible place within the platform. As of right now, Opera GX has finally came out with their mobile version as well, called GX Mobile, which you can connect through your desktop version so all of your settings will neatly transfer over. There's nothing on the market right now as advanced and as cool as Opera GX, and best of all, it's absolutely free. If you want to give it a try and start upgrading your browser game, it's time to click the link down below in the description and begin your upgrade now. Out of everybody that I killed at the Revenant Dungeon while making this video, this guy here is by far my favorite. Unlike most people, he's not just relying on good RNG or spamming the cave entrance in order to escape. His name is literally his escape plan. He tries to freeze you and then hug you and log out. That there not only takes a little bit of skill in order to properly execute, but it definitely takes extra risk and some extra steps. While everyone in the Rev Caves just uses the door because obviously the Rev Cave entrance is a little bit glitchy, and of course they can easily get a log out, this guy here takes matters into his own hands and tries to make the escape using his own skill.
the homie goes down 1.8 mil loot and honestly like i said shout out to this guy for having his own game plan and strategy in order to escape on anybody else this probably would have worked but since i'm in max gear it's obviously way harder for him to get a freeze if he was on somebody in arms or someone who doesn't really know how to pk and freeze dd properly he could probably get away like that almost every single time This is what I love about killing the PVMers in the Revenant dungeon. None of these guys know how to use Protect Item. I just got this guy's Vagora's Chain Mace. We got over 7 mil loot from that kill. And for some reason, he died with food still in his inventory. I think that he didn't realize that he couldn't eat while he was hopping over and just ended up dying. So many people are in the rev caves right now that don't understand how PvP mechanics work. And honestly, I'm just stacking up bank loot because of it. I was doing some hunting over by the Revenant Knight, and I ended up getting gapped by this PVMer that hopped over one of the agility escapes. Since he was out of range, I tried my best to catch up with him, but once I realized that I wasn't going to be able to, I ran into another PVMer that just happened to be killing the orcs down in a different area. PKing in the Rev Dungeon on release is like literally PKing in 2006 again. PVMers are everywhere and all of them are risking bank. We got nearly 4 mil from this guy. He was risking carols and that's a huge step up from the regular dehyde or 4 item setups that everyone else is using. I smited this guy like three or four times, but in the end, I'd always hit a zero when his prayer dropped. I still got him for about 1.1 mil, but really, I should have got his Vigoras Chain Mace. And another one bites the dust, we got another crossbow, that's our second crossbow so far in the video. This is what I'm talking about, absolutely no one is praying item down here, people are making huge mistakes by just trying to escape and panicking, and honestly, that there was probably one of the biggest kills you can even get off of a PVM or in Rev Caves, not many people risk more than that, so we're going to take that 26 mil and add it to the collection. While I was hopping worlds, I found a bunch of ROT members ragging this PVMer who was sculled up in some crazy gear. This is around the time Torvesta uploaded his recent Revenant Cave video. That video had people running all over the caves in the same setup that he was in, risking stupid amounts while being sculled, and I was just here to capitalize on all of it. Thank you. 
Okay, I stand corrected. That is definitely the biggest kill that you're going to be getting off of a PVMer in the Revenant Caves. This guy went inside the cave instead of eating, and I got the final hit that I needed. Even though he had tons of food left, I ended up getting a KO on him. We got 30 mil loot from that kill. The looting bag looks absolutely juicy. And shout out to Torvesta for uploading that video. He definitely brought a lot of activity to the wilderness and to the Rev Caves because so many people were risking the setup that he was in, thinking that they could mimic what he was doing. And honestly, they're just donating to me. Every kill in the Rev Dungeon is basically 1 to 2 mil loot guaranteed as long as they have a PvP weapon. But once in a while, you come across these gems, they're sculled up, and you know that you have a potential to get more if you can do enough damage, hit them off prayer, and ultimately smite them for their wilderness weapon. A perfect smite as we clawed this guy on the run. His prayer dropped at the last second. I kind of feel bad for killing him. He was obviously a viewer. He knew exactly who I was. So probably someone who watched my Twitch live streams or made my YouTube videos. But I can't stay off everyone in the Rev Caves. I have to make content. And we managed to bag another 8 mil. Alright, that's not quite a wilderness weapon, but that's the first blowpipe smite of the video. We're definitely going to take that 4 mil loot. Those agility obstacles are seriously deadly, and honestly, that's the majority of how some of these people die. Essentially, you get stacked damage when you hop over, so always make sure that you're full HP and full prayer. Otherwise, you're probably going to end up losing whatever your plus 1 is if your prayer drops, especially if you're a low level. Decided to try the bando setup here to get a bigger claw spec so that we could smite people. Unfortunately, we didn't get a smite on this guy, but we still got 3 mil loot. And shout out to Jagex for your amazing servers. Not only did the world crash and was lagging the entire time that I was on this kill, but since I got kicked out of the game when I logged back in, I wasn't able to loot everything. It all disappeared since my character logged out of the game, so technically I, I think Jagex owes me about 3 mil.
another 20 mil PK in the bag. We managed to get this guy's bulwark. It wasn't even his plus one since he had a crossbow, but this is what the wilderness is all about. And a high risk, high reward activity like Revenants will obviously bring people with risk into the game. And this here creates a healthy wilderness PKing ecosystem. Obviously the rev caves aren't perfect, but I really got to hand it to Jagex. Since this update came out, I've been thoroughly impressed. Right as I smited this guy, I ended up hitting a zero when he was on no prayer. I unfortunately didn't get his Vigoras, but we still got basically 5 mil from this kill. Thanks to Ditter for boxing me as well. Not sure why he's wearing a giant penis on his head, but honestly, anything that Ditter does to do with stuff like that doesn't really surprise me anymore. Now that was pretty sneaky. I went underneath him, put up smite, switched to dragon claws, and we got two massive specs. On the final hit from the final dragon claw spec, we did manage to drop his prayer, and we collected our third crossbow PK of the video. I'm sure you guys are wondering what the bank is looking like. I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of kills down here in the rev caves. I'm trying my best to only include the best ones while still at the same time keeping the video short and condensed. So let's just not waste any more time, and I'm going to show you guys how much we've PK'd in just over one week. Alright guys, so we're going to take a look at the bank now. As you guys can see, we're at the Ferrex Enclave. Entered my pin. And this is what our Revenant tab is looking like. 366 mil. Now this is purely off of PVMers. I've killed a lot of PKers in the Rev Caves, and obviously I've left all of those out of the video because that's just not what the video topic is about. But as you guys can see, we've PK'd a ton of gear. We've gotten three Vigoras, we've gotten three Crossbows, 
892 bracelets of Ethereum. We've got 661,000 Revenant Ether. That's worth 70 mil just on its own. I've PK'd one Ancient Effigy. I've PK'd one uh, Ancient Emblem. Three Din's Bulwarks. 52 Adverse Amulets. And as you guys can see, this bank is getting stacked. I want to try and get this tab to about one bill. But I don't know how long that's going to take. Also, I've left out a lot of random stuff that I've PK'd, like Barrow's items. I've left out, like, the Carol sets, the Varax items, and Ballistas, stuff like that. Just because that there is obviously, like, mixed up with the stuff that I PK, and it's kind of hard to, like, figure out how many I've PK'd um, from PVMers versus other PVPers. So I've just kind of left that out for now. But obviously, if I think that if I had to tally the whole thing up, it's probably roughly 400 mil. But as of just killing PVMers and just doing this passively for a couple days here and there, um, 400 mil, not including any PKers. So this isn't including any Aram sets I've PK'd, any AGSs, or anybody that really even fights back. So this is just off farming PVMers, and honestly, I think I think that's a pretty solid tap. And that is it for the video today, guys. Thank you so, so much if you watched all the way through until the end. I've been super busy the last couple of weeks. I've been traveling. I've been trying to stream as much as I can. And obviously, my schedule for uploading has been kind of bad. I'm going to try and get onto it. And obviously, December is the best month for YouTube creators. So I'm going to be uploading a ton over the month of December. If you guys did enjoy, remember to leave a like and comment on the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel and to the Dragon Claw giveaway. Make sure to check out all the links down below in the description as well. Join my Discord server. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And seriously, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out the Twitch live stream. I stream every single day over on Twitch. And if you enjoyed this content, this is all we do over there. But of course, I'll leave it until that, and I'll see you guys next time.